Hello everyone and welcome back to the world of Thetis. I'm so excited to continue the journey today because we are going to be continuing on down into the deep dark roads of the uh, the underground and right now we're on the quest of Anvil of the Void. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow Bronca's trail through the dead trenches. You found Bronca's journal and it seems she was headed into the dead trenches. You must follow her. The journal contained a map that shows you the way to the dead trenches through Keridan's Cross. Okay, so in the previous episode, right at the end, there was this amazing cutscene where I think we saw a glimpse of the Archdemon. So me and my party are going to get you, um, journey further down the road. Uh, are those guys on my side? Are they on? Oh, they are on my side. Wow. Okay, let's do this. Um... Let's all make sure everyone is selected, and let's get on the herlock. Oh my god, there's so many. Look how many there are. Wow, I'm going to have to be very careful keeping a close eye on everybody. What an epic battle. Wow. Holy crap, everybody on him. All right, everybody on that giant herlock. He's probably their leader, or one of their leaders. So let's take him out first. Then some of the smaller herlocks are good. We've got Cardall here. Not sure who he is yet. Okay, so let's make sure you use a potion. There we go. Okay, so when I want you to use on him. Jeez, he gets attacked a lot. All right, we beat him Let them somehow. They hold us here. When the throne is settled, we'll beat them to their vile birthing grounds. A Trasvala, Grey Warden. I've never seen one of your kind in the deep roads. You know I'm a Grey Warden? I recognize a fighter of Darkspawn. It marks you. It's why we in the Legion of the Dead abandon our lives so we can face them without fear. It's a sacrifice I understand Grey Wardens are familiar with. What do you want here, Warden? Wow, so this is the the legionnaires that they that we read about in that lore book that's called the the steel legion or something i forgot what it's called exactly but it's really cool to see that when we read those lore books it's then manifest in the actual game it's not just wasted reading time like it's actually look at it that's amazing all right well i need to find the paragon bronca who put this dull idea in your head we got other things to worry about in orzammar Ah, now I see. The Deep Lords in the Assembly can't make up their minds, so the Pretenders need added influence. I get that right? Yeah, you know, that's about it. Um, do you have anything useful to add? Warden, you've got your work cut out for you. Paragon Bronca is dead, everyone <sighs> with sense knows it. Past our line, the Darkspawn kill everything. <sighs> Makes sense. So, why hold back? I'd gladly lead an assault through the dead trenches, but without an ass in the throne, we have no orders. I won't take fool's gold from a pretender. You want to go digging blind? You go right ahead. Okay, fine. Um, have you ever heard of the Anvil of the Void? Like dusters, I've heard of respect. Never seen it. And if it exists, <laughs> it wasn't meant for me. But if you're looking for paragons, you may as well look for the Anvil. And endless lyrium. You should be more concerned about the coming blight. It's very serious. Why? The other kingdoms only care when the dark spawn march in the light. But they are always here. Always pushing. Your nightmare is my every day. Our resolve gives you a rest between blights. A surge on the surface would give us a break. When the time comes, I'll care for a good dwarven reason. Sod the rest. Wow, this guy is a badass. 
<laughs> He's like, you guys are worried about a blight? I'm down here killing freaking <laughs> these guys every single day. Holy crap. All right, this guy's pretty, pretty good. Pretty strong dude. Can you tell me more about the Legion of the Dead? We die in the eyes of our brothers so we can fight without fear. It offers redemption for the promise of the greatest sacrifice. That's all you need to know. To say more invites judgment, or worse, imitation. All right, fine. Let us know if you find any paragons. You're as likely to find a dozen as one. Do you really think she's dead? Do you think that she's actually, like, just gone? Oh, what the heck is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Here we go. Wait, why? Why are you not all focusing on him? What's going on? Oh, shoot. Morrigan. Oh my god. Put her down. Put her down, you dang ogre. Oh my god. I hope she's okay. Nope. She is not okay. Oh my god, he just picked her up and started punching her right in the stomach. Oh my god, guys, just one second here. One freaking second. And then she's gonna use revive. One of these is a revive. Oh, she can't use it, she doesn't have enough mana. Uh, oh, but... I remember I have an amazing amount of lyrium. So now that she has the lyrium, which is the very first time I've ever used the lyrium, let's revive Shale. Wait, Morrigan revived too? Wow. What a turn of events. All right, everybody, let's attack. In unison, let's get him. Now you die. So shall it be. As you say. Dang, my archery skills are pretty good. This is really far away. Tough. Very well. Uh oh, got an automatic save. What is this? Wherever we are, we're very deep inside of the dark spawn territory. Like this is where they stay. First day they come and catch everyone. What? First day they come and catch everyone? What are they. Who said that? Second day they beat us and eat some from meat. What? This lady's not making any sense. Fifth day they return, and it's another girl's turn. Sixth day, her screams we hear in our dreams. Uh. Seventh day, she grew as in her mouth they spew. What? Okay, I can go left or right, and I don't know which way is the right way. Okay, there's some spiders that way. Eighth day we hate it as she is violated. Ninth day she grins and devours her kin.
Now she does feast as she's become the beast. Okay, I'm about to face a beast. I know I am. So let's save. Whatever's behind this door, I know it's going to be crazy. First day they come and catch everyone. Second day they beat us and eat some from meat. Third day the men are all gnawed on again. Fourth day we wait and fear for our fate. Fifth day they return and it's another girl's turn. Sixth day her screams we hear in our dreams. Seventh day she grew as in her mouth they spew. Eighth day we hate it as she is violated. Ninth day she grins and devours her kin. Now she does feast as she's become the beast. First day they come. Okay. What the heck? Ew. What is this? An elf? Exotic and impossible. Feeding time brings only kin and clan. I am cruel to myself. You are a dream of strangers' faces and open doors. Okay, so she's clearly gone insane. I am I know this sounds crazy, but I think she was R-A-P-E-D. And uh, she's turned into a crazy monster that now eats people. That's a human person right there, I'm pretty sure, without any arms or legs. Is this dark spawn corruption? It looks different. Corruption. The men did that. Their wounds festered and their minds left. They are like dogs, marched ahead, the first to die. Not us, not me, not Laren. We are not cut. We are fed. Friends, and flesh, and blood, and bile, and, and... All I could do was wish Laren went first. I wished it upon her so that I would be spared. But I had to watch. I had to see the change. How do you endure that? How did Bronca endure? Bronca? Do you know where she is? D do not talk of Bronca. Of what she did. Ancestors preserve us. Forgive me. I was her captain. And I didn't stop her. Her lover and... I could not turn her. Forgive her. But no. She cannot be forgiven. Not for what she did. Not for what she has become. What she has become? What did she do, Hespeth? What did Bronca do? I... I will not speak of her, of what she did, of what we have become. I will not turn. I will not become what I have seen. Not Laren, not Bronca. Is it certain we need to be here? This cannot end well. What happened? I think Bronca turned into a beast. I think Bronca ate started eating people I, I really don't know what's going on I, I really don't but if we look at our journal we did get a quest update you found a dwarven na woman named Hespeth one of Bronca's captains who was captured by the darkspawn she said that Bronca went through the dead trenches and the halls of Bonamar in her delirium she also sp spoke of darker things okay so we know that they were probably captured by the Darkspawn, but kept alive. And I'm sure the Darkspawn do not treat their prisoners well. So this can only be... This can only get worse. She became obsessed. That is the word, but it is not strong enough. Blessed Stone, there was nothing left in her. But the anvil. What is that? There was nothing left in her but the anvil. These are vile and All right, let's take it out. Very well. Oh, we 
got him. We got both of them. Okay, that's an ominous door. <laughs> that's an ominous door that we can't unlock. There's that way, and that is, I think, from where we came. So there's no choice. There's this way, which we can't get into. We have to go down this way. So let's go. We tried to escape, but they found us. They took us all, turned us. Uh oh. Oh, I can just imagine how grand this fortress must have been before the Dark Spawn took it. What is this place? Wow, it's so beautiful, I can tell you that. The Legionnaire Altar? Legionnaire Key. Okay, so a key, that's probably, oh wait, they, they're attacking me now. group heal. Only a few more. We can do this. You know what doesn't make sense? If they're ghosts, how is my arrows actually hitting them? <laughs> but let's not question it. This will not Oh my goodness, okay, we killed them. Let's get out of here. There's clearly a door that that opens. The men, they kill. They're merciful. But the women, they want. They want to touch, to mold, to change until you are filled with them. Jeez, this is pretty heavy stuff. Like, I think you all get what she's talking about. Uh-huh, so that's the ominous door. This key unlocks he this here. Yes, of course. They took Laren. They made her eat the others, our friends. She tore off her husband's face and drank his blood. No wonder she's insane. What's this? Stalata Nagata? What is this? 310 Towers. They name it a blight. The third by their reckoning. It was the flight to our ancestors continued even though it shifts setting. The hordes that press their borders surge and release, spilling across the surface. They fortify and follow. It was not their way to let the enemy rest. Two thir 325 Towers. This is 15 years later. The surface kingdoms declare victory, the horde is crushed, the push halted, and celebrations begin as humans thank the skies and their maker. Beneath their gaze and their feet, the darkspawn retreat to the steps of our thags. Now front lines are drawn across old. They settle in to breed, the memories say, as happened twice before, and likely in the darkness before that. From chapters 14 and 17 of Stalta Nagat, the Stone Unheld, a commentary on the role of years by Shaper Erdin. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So that was basically saying that the Blight will, you know, retreat, d 
retreat underground after they've been beaten or, you know, thwarted away, they'll breed until they come out again. Okay, it's auto-saving. You know what that means. That means something's about to happen. And while she ate, she grew. She swelled and turned gray, and she smelled like them. They remade her in their image. Then she made more of them. What? She made more of them? Okay, so what I'm getting here is that she is like a mother queen Very well. to these uh, Darkspawn, and she like gives birth to Darkspawn Brood now. Mother. Brood mother, yeah. This is whatever I'm about to see, it sounds creepy. And I think I'm about to see it. What's down there? Oh my god. What is that? What? <laughs> Hold up a second. Hold up a second. This thing has like six pairs of tits. <laughs> this is so gross. This is so gross. What is this? Okay, so hold up. Okay, so I can attack its boobs. <laughs> okay, sorry. I can attack it directly or I can attack its tentacles. And I don't know which one is better. Alright, let's attack a tentacle first. And just see if that helps. Okay. All right, let's attack the main body now, I suppose. Ew, this thing is so gross. Let's use this thing. Death root extract, a poison. This may not be useful, but... So far, we're doing really well. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm stunned. Oh, God. Okay, so, uh, everybody, let's focus him. Very well. Okay, everybody focus him. Everybody focus him. Focus him. Okay, back to the main thing. I think we can keep attacking the tentacle. That seems to be a good yes. strategy. And then once it goes down, once it goes down, then we can attack the main body here. So let's go here. So far, we're doing really well. Move out the way. Okay, we've got more dark spawn coming. A shriek. Let's all attack the shriek. Okay. I will not Okay, everybody's okay so far. Everybody's fine, nobody's dead, but I'm gonna have her do a group heal though. Okay, let's attack um, one of the tentacles. Nope, never mind. Let's attack yes. this thing. Alright, we've almost got her. Almost got her. Morgan, 
I think it's okay. She's just got a tiny bit of le health left. All right, we got her. We got her. Oh my god, that is a monstrosity. Is it dead? That's where they come from. That's why they hate us. That's why they need us. That's why they take us. That's why they feed us. But the true abomination is not that it occurred, but that it was allowed. Branca, my love. The stone has punished me, dream friend. I am dying of something worse than death. Betrayal. What? The heck is that? Broodmother. It is well known that Darkspawn carry off those captured in their raids to underground lairs. Most assume that the prisoners are eaten or somehow tainted and turned into Darkspawn themselves, though this could never account for the sheer numbers of the Horde. Forays made by Grey Wardens into the other ground have uncovered the answer. When exposed to the Darkspawn taint, men are driven mad and eventually die. Women, however, undergo great pain and gross mutations that cause most of them to perish. Those that survive, however, become the grotesque brood mothers. These giant twisted behemoths birth many darkspawn at a time. A single brood mother can create thousands of darkspawn over the course of her lifetime. Each type of darkspawn is born from a different brood mother. Humans produce herlocks. Dwarves produce ginlocks. Oh my god, it's all making sense. Elves give birth to shrieks. And from Kunari are born the ogres. Wow, 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 wow. This is a huge revelation. This totally describes how the darkspawn are made. Like how they're born and how they're created. So the females of each of these types of, of, of surface-dwelling good people, I guess, when they become tainted, some of them become brood mothers, the female ones. And they give birth to all of these disgusting uh, creatures that we've been finding. Uh, that's insane. See... You know what I notice is that all of the loot on all of these enemies, are, it's always like heavy metal steel armor. What about, what about me? Like, <laughs> I can't use this stuff. Okay, a ring doesn't seem very good. So all of that stuff can only be used on like Alistair and some of the other warrior type classes. There's never any loot for an archer. What about that? Okay, so I just want to see, is there anything behind? Is there anything back here? No. Alright, well that was crazy. That was really weird. I never got to see what was this way. Oh, I'm not supposed to see what's that way. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go here, I think. Oh my god, Anvil of the Void. Here we go, guys. Oh my god, I'm, I've made it. The ancient smithy of Caradon, the dwarven paragon renowned for creating the lost art of making golems. I can't believe we had to go this deep into the deep roads in order to find this. But as I can already see a hint of lava, like this red stuff on the map, so I think there's going to be a lot of um, lava here. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, we're so far underground. We're in the anvil of the void, guys. Brunka must be close. How obsessed is she to have existed here for so long? I didn't... What I'm trying to piece together is what that diseased woman was saying. She said the biggest sin was that it was allowed. Bronca. Oh, this is another option. Oh, I have to choose him now. Okay, good. I'm glad I have him, though, because um, we needed him. Let's take Alistair... Yes. Let's see, he is actually already a warrior. Since he's a warrior and I'm a rogue, then let's take one mage. Um, yes. And one... I'm already a rogue. 
a warrior, a warrior. I guess I can have two warriors. Let's take yes. Alistair. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, shave my back and call me an elf. Bronca, by the stone, I barely recognized you. I can't Algren. believe she's alive. It figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogren's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Enrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. <clears throat> Orzammar needs a new king to defend against the Blight. A king won't defeat a Blight. We've had 40 generations of kings and lost everything. I don't care if the Assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. Well, it sounds like you need some help, then. And you assume, after all my efforts, you'll be able to waltz in and seize the anvil without a hitch? How typically arrogant. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the Anvil of the Void. Wow. Does that include Hespeth and the others of your house? Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the Anvil. There is only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keridan's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. Jeez. Brave the traps and make your way to the anvil. Bronca has tricked you and locked you in a room full of traps. It seems that Bronca was unable to find a way past these traps and wants you to do so for her. You cannot escape and you cannot go back. You must press forward towards the Anvil of the Void. Oh, crap. All right, well, let's press forward toward the Anvil of the Void. We don't have a choice. I needed people to test Caradin's traps. There's no way to break through except by trial and error. They were all mine, pledged to be my house, and they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me, even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices, as many sacrifices as are needed. Okay, so she's corrupt. She's corrupt. As you say. Got him. Okay, Alistair, get up. She was pledged to me. She swore or she'd do whatever it took to find the anvil. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some some of the women were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve <gasps> me. Let me find the anvil. It was the only way. Oh my god. It's now it's making sense. She forced the women to become brood mothers. She forced the women to become brood mothers so that they could be 
so that they would make the dark spawn to test these traps. Okay, whatever happens, she deserves to die now. She definitely deserves to die now for that. That's like unforgivable. I hear something big. Uh, there's something big down there. Oh, here it comes. Let's save. Here it comes. Let us end this quickly. Oh god. Let's take him out. Take him out before he dies. Okay, got him. I don't know if that's enough. He's still alive. Alright, let's keep going. Uh-oh, what is this? I think I see golems. Please don't tell me we're getting attacked by all of these things. Oh god, do we have to run through? Hard punch. Is that it? Okay. The get oh no, let's go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Alright, I think we're past the first room. And it looks like at least a few people have gotten through the first room before, but not much further. So let's go ahead and save. Is this the next room what of traps? A trap? Yes. It is some kind of trap. Okay, we're about to get attacked again. Oh god. Goodness, we're gonna need a group heal here. Um. Okay, we good? Alright, I think we're good. Let's undo that trap right here. Okay. About to get tacked, I think. No? Yeah, I knew it. That's so hard. Alright, let's do that. Got him. Okay, more delirium. Are we getting close? If we look at the map. 
Okay, we've got to go that way, so hopefully we're getting close. Oh yeah, let's save. Is this the Anvil of the Void? Oh, look at all of that lyrium. It's beautiful, actually. Wow, is this it? If this is it. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I see. It will be done. Spirits. Yes. Ah! You will not win. So shall it be. Yes. Can I touch it? Oh, wow. Okay. So I touch this and it damages the center. Now what? You have forced my hand. Oh. Ah. The anvil. Got him. This will not end well. You dare. Oh wait, should I be over here? I think I have to do this four times, and I've done it twice. Jeez, Alistair. All right, let's take Alistair. Uh, let's use a lesser, lesser health potion. Should help some. Okay. Now we attack him. Kill him. Okay, I think I get it. Okay, now just these. Two more left. Okay, last one. Right? As you say. Very well. Beat it. Wow, that was a crazy trap. Okay. Alright, I think this might be the last trap. I'm hoping.
what? Okay, there's a question mark. Wow, look at this place. It's amazing. Stone golems. But this one's different. It's not it doesn't look the same as the others. My name is Carradine. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. So you're Carradin? As in the Carradin? Of Carradin's Cross? Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item. The Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. Uh-huh. It sounds like blood magic. A dangerous road. The Darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, the bravest of souls, willing to trade their very lives for the chance to defend their homeland. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies. All of them were to be given to the Anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. Ah, so you sealed away. Orzammar could use it. Wait, nah, I don't want to say that. Oh, I get it. Okay, so you sealed it away. But Orzammar could use it now. No! I entombed myself here to find a way to destroy the anvil. It must not be used again! No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! Okay, I'm on his side. I want the power. I'm just as greedy hungry for the power of these things as she is, I think. But it's very, very clear that it's completely immoral to use this anvil. You were a paragon. I'll help if you support a new king. Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory. The anvil enslaves living souls. It must be destroyed. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No, you will not take it. Not while I still live. Bronca, don't throw your life away for this. She's not the Bronca you know. Now stand aside. Just give her the blasted thing. She's confused. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. Uh, no. No, she's obsessed. Beyond redemption. Bah! You're not the only Master Smith here, Carradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A control rod? But... My friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone. Okay, here we go. Let me first look around to see what's come happening around me. Okay, Ogryn disapproves minus 10. But I'm sorry, bro. But my other companions that I very much care about approve. So let's take out, I guess, a stone golem. I guess one of those. This will not end well. Let's take this out. Take this one out. The 
Pinball will be. Ah, uh, he's down. Okay, so revive him. Fine. Ha! Now you die. Uh, Morgan, can you use a group heal? Right here. Wait, what? Oh! Make sure we're all on the same page here. Okay, there's Bronca. Oh, he's... He's down again. Yes. Ah. Um, maybe you can use revive. Nope, can't use revive. I, I guess we can do the best we can. I cannot be defeated. Does she have it yet? Does she have this? Nope. Dang it. Oh. Oh. It will be done. Oh. You don't know what you're capable of. Oh god. You're a troublemaker! Alright, all of us focus. Oh, Bronca's coming at. Wait, there's two Broncas? Aren't you? Okay, we can focus back on the original one. Okay, still can't use that, but let's use the heroic aura. Okay, inventory. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. You don't know what for you now. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Oh. You are forced by We got her. Oh, get her. Good job, Alistair. <laughs> Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding, stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the Golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Well, I need a Paragon's support to settle an election. For the aid you've given me, I shall put Hammer to Steel one last time and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Oh. He's making me a crown? Wow, now that's an epic item right there. Forged by the Paragon himself. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> wow. There, it is done. Give it to whom you will. 
I do not wish to hear their names, nor anything more of them. I have already lived far beyond my time. I have no place here. All right. I will destroy the anvil, as agreed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. It's gone. It needed to be gone, though. It was corrupt. You have my eternal thanks, stranger. A trust in all tongue May you always find your way in the dark. Uh, he just leaped off. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The Anvil of the Void is gone. Free from the anvil at long last, Keridan destroyed himself. Oh my god. Well, guys, I destroyed the anvil because it was possessing people. But, in exchange, I did get this amazing crown. Um, which I will be giving to Belen. So that's something. I guess I'm forced to just run backward. Oh, wait, what is this? This is a golem registry. You see a large stone tablet chipped away with age, with a great number of Dorvan runes carved into its surface. The writing is in Dwarven and appears to be a long list of names, each with the stamp of their house next to them. You recognize few of the house's names. At the bottom of the list are the words, We honor those who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. These must be the the people, this must be the dwarves that sacrifice themselves to become golems for the army. The carvings are still deep enough that a tracing can be taken, along with the allowing the information to be carried elsewhere. Ogren, do you know what this is? Can you tell? <sighs> Names. Long list of dwarves. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, we honor who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial of all the dwarves who became golems. Has to be. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzmar, I bet they'd brown their trousers <laughs> and pay good gold for it. Hmm. Probably both. All right, let's take a tracing of the tablet then. The ancient runes are traced into a stack of papers, which you store in your pack. That's really cool. You can see the golem up here holding it. Awesome monument. All right, so we have the golem registry. Um, so now let's head back. Let's head back to the town. There doesn't appear to be a shortcut, so let's just walk out. Well, that pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? <sighs> to the assembly. They need to know as soon as possible. Yeah, those deshers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. All right, let's go back to Orzammar. Ugh, oh, it's gonna be a long trip back. Man, that 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 was amazing. That's incredible. It's just so epic. This game is so epic and cool. Like I love it. And we have a crown now for Belen. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order! This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now! My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. 
Well, Warden, what news do you bring? I bear a crown from Paragon Caradon for his chosen king. Caradon was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Caradon forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. I would like to believe Argren's word, but it's well known the Grey Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! This crown is of Paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Caradon choose? Well, actually, he wished me to give it to whomever I chose. Mm, should I say that? Shouldn't I say that Caradon chose it? Because then they would be more... That would fly... That would be better. So let's say that Caradon chose Belen because then it would be coming from a paragon and not from me. So Caradon chose Belen. At last, this farce has ended and I can take my rightful place on my father's throne. The new king of Orzammar. There he is. Wow. The dwarves finally united. Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orzammar. Wow. Do you acknowledge me as king? I cannot defy a paragon. The throne is yours, King Balin. Then as my first act as king, I call for this man's execution. Oh, what? Guards, seize him! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. That turned sour pretty quick. I did not give you that crown so you could be a tyrant. You know better than anyone the war facing us, Warden. Orzammar cannot afford to be divided. Anyone undermining my reign is serving only the Darkspawn. I will return to my palace to gather my generals and prepare our forces for the surface. I will see you there, Warden. You have my gratitude for all you have done for me. Well, crap. <laughs> did I just give the crown to a tyrant? You have proven yourself and more, Warden. Without your aid, I would not have taken this throne so smoothly or so soon. The throne belongs with House Edukan. That much is clear. As all in Orzammar now see, my generals are already preparing for a mission to the surface. When you have need of us, you shall have every able-bodied dwarf in Orzammar. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. This was a maul favored by my brother Trian. Take it with you, as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now, I have much to do. If there is nothing else... All right, I will return to the surface. Thank you for your aid. Good luck, Warden. May we both crush our enemies. Belen's ally. We got the quest completed. Um... The paragon of her kind, you have made Prince Belen Edukan, the king of Orzammar. King Belen wears the paragon's crown and has the favor of the ancestors. None may challenge his reign. And we've got a codex entry, Lord Pyral Harrowmont. Um, his opposition of Prince Belen's bid for the throne ended badly. The assembly named the prince king of Orzammar, and Belen's first act was to call him for Harrowmont's execution. Not very happy with his first act. Is a, His first act uh, is, you know, retribution and revenge. I, th if that's not a sign of what's to come, then I don't know what is. And I hope it isn't. I hope I'm wrong about that. But here's all the uh, nobles, I suppose. Well, guys, what an epic episode. Um, it's taken me two hours and two separate recording sessions to get this episode out. Um, it's been so much fun. Thank you for joining me in this adventure. I can't wait to see you next episode. So I will see you next time.